Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Survival World, and today's tutorial in our Survival Knot series is on the Monkey's Fist Knot. Now, a lot of people think this knot is just for decoration purposes, but it actually has a lot of practical purposes. The name sounds a little funny, but the Monkey's Fist Knot is aptly named and it looks a lot like the fist of a monkey. Uh, this knot is most commonly used for throwing rope because it creates a nice heavy ball of rope on the end of the line, but what most people don't know about the line is it's really easy just to pull out a loop of it then and you have a nice cinching knot. So if you're trying to tie your boat up, you can throw this to shore, someone can easily just take that out real quick, throw it around the dock, and boom, your boat's not going anywhere. So let's dive in on how to tie the monkey's fist knot. So the first step of tying a good monkey's fist knot is to create a stopper knot on the end of your rope. Now a lot of people like just creating a quick like loop in a dog, cutting the slack off, but I like to make the double barrel knot where you just take an overhand loop, you wrap it around twice, and then I like to cinch my knot up real close to the end here just so I do not have to cut my end of the line. So the smaller rope you have, the less fingers you need to use for this method. For large rope like uh, this, I might want to use it around my entire four fingers like this, but for paracord, I'm just going to use two fingers. So I'm going to take my stopper knot and I'm going to wrap this rope around my fingers three times. Uh, once I've wrapped it around three times, the stopper knot just kind of stays in the middle of your knot. I'm going to take my string and I'm going to bring it up through the middle and I'm going to wrap it another three times, just kind of cinching the middle of that knot down. If you're doing this knot with a long length of rope, it can be a little annoying because you have to pull all the rope through. But um, the beauty of this knot is you can just leave it tied up on the end of your rope and you don't really ever need to untie it, so it makes it worth it to tie it. Now once you've got three around your center like this, we can slip this knot off our fingers here like this, and we just want to make sure that we don't let this get away. So what I like to do is just use my left hand and pinch that in place. Now with this uh, string, we're going to wrap it through the two loops we have going here. So make sure to wrap it three times again. Stick that through there, and as you can see, with this paracord even, we got a little bit of a tight knot going here. It's a little tricky to work with. And that's using the two fingers method. So you might want to go with four fingers just to get a bit bigger loops here to work with. It'll be a lot easier to tie your knot with. And we're gonna get, again, three loops going through here. So once we've got the knot all looped, we got our triple loops on everything, we want to find where we originally the piece of string that's tied to that stopper knot. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do all our cinching from this knot. So we can find that knot and just start tightening it. And the only problem people have with this tightening is they forget which direction they're going and they accidentally undo all the cinching work they've done. So I just like to keep my rope pinched here so I can keep track of what I'm actually doing on this knot. So the cinching step takes the longest, but Again, the knot looks really good and you don't have to untie this knot at all, so it's worth it. So I'm just going around my rope here, finding where the next spot is, and we're basically working all our loose line to the end of the rope. Now the tighter you cinch up your knot, the tighter it's going to be. I find that it's hard to untie these if you go full beast mode and tighten it as hard as you possibly can. So I tend to stay somewhere in the middle. I like getting it moderately tight, but not too tight. Now you tied uh, three sets of loops, so you're gonna have to cinch your knot about 12 times here. Now again, the most important thing to remember when you're cinching up your knot is not to lose the side you're supposed to actually pull because it can be really easy to get confused and just start uncinching everything you've already cinched with this monkey's knot here. So we're really close to the end. We've done this about 10 times. And boom, that is our fully tied monkey's knot. Now again, it's really easy when you're chucking this knot to shore, you can just, uh, have a nice slip knot by pulling that section of the knot loose, wrapping it around something, and it's a very secure knot. 
So yeah, that's how you tie the monkey's fist knot. Make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and check out our playlist. It's going to pop up right here with more tutorials on how to tie knots. Thanks for watching.